Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, many of you had requested me to put a tutorial video on setting up CLion ID for doing competitive programming with C++. So yeah, in this video, I will be helping you guys set up your CLion ID along with MinGW. Now, before you just start watching the video, I want to make it clear that this video is specifically for Windows users. So yeah, now MinGW is basically uh, used to compile your C++ codes on a Windows machine. So yeah, first of all, I will quickly tell you how you can install MinGW and then I will help you set up your CLion IDE. So for installing MinGW, just open up any web browser and type in, in MinGW. Then select the very first link that comes and go to the download section then. And uh, yeah, just scroll down a little and you will find this blue button which says MinGW get setup.exe and Clicking on it, your download should begin. So yeah, as soon as your download is done, just click on uh, click on it and click on install. Then you will see this directory which says uh, C MingGW. So I would not recommend changing it, but in case you are changing it, then do remember the path to it because you will be requiring it later on. So yeah, clicking on continue, this error might show up in your case if you had already installed MinGW previously. But yeah, if you had, uh, if you haven't installed MinGW ever, then this error should not come. But if it does, just click on reinstall. And your download process should begin and it will download a lot of packages here. So it might take some time. And as soon as this is done, just click on continue. And a window will pop up, which is the MingGW installation manager. Then you need to select the packages that you want to install here. So you can select the packages that I am selecting and you will be good to go. So yeah, just right click on any package that you want to install and click on mark for installation. And I guess it is not responding. Yeah, so this might take some time. And so just click on these packages and click on mark for installation and just don't click on this Fortran one because we won't require it. Then just go to installation uh, section and click on apply changes. And here also click on apply. Then all of these packages will get installed and this might also take up some time. So yeah, as soon as this is done, just click on close and you can also close your MingGW installation manager as well. So after this, you need to define your path for MingGW and for this, just uh, go to this PC and Right click on it on and go to properties. Then just click on advanced system settings and click on environment variables. So here there are two types of variables, user variables and system variables. So we will be defining our path in the user variables. So yeah, just click on any path that is there and you will be prompted with this window. So here we need to define our path for MingGW. Now you will be also seeing the C lion thing here. This is because I've already installed CLion and uh, yeah, but uh, when you will install CLion, this will get defined by its own. So you don't have to worry about it. So we just have to put in the path for MingGW here. So now uh, you just go to the directory where you had installed MingGW and we will copy the path of that directory. So in my case, it was in C directory. 
and yeah this is mingjw here then just go to bin uh, i mean in the mingjw folder just go to bin and just copy the whole path of this bin and paste it into that system variable i mean the user variables so just click on new here and uh, type in the path here or just paste it and as soon as you do it just click on okay and click ok again and just close of, close all of this and now in order to verify that your mingjw has been installed successfully just open up command prompt and type in g++ minus minus version so something like this should come up uh, if your uh, mingjw has been installed correctly but in case if it hasn't been installed correctly then you know uh, there might be some error which says that something like g++ is not defined or mingjw is not defined so in that case you can leave out your error in the comments and i'll try to you know correct it but still if it comes then you can obviously look up online or look up on stack overflow to see which uh, i mean what is the problem with your installation and in case you have done the exact same thing that i have done i don't think any error should come so if something like this comes up uh, when you type in g++ minus minus version then you can see that your ming uh, gw has been installed correctly So yeah, that was it for the installation of the MingGW and now we will install CLion. Now again for installing CLion, just open up any web browser and type in CLion IDE. Then just select the very first link again and uh, here again go to downloads and click on download again and it will install the Windows version for you. So yeah, the download should begin after doing this and it might take some time because it is a big file. Now as soon as the download for CLion finishes, just click on CLion by going into your download section and yeah, it is verifying. So now the installer should open and yeah, just click on next here. And then you can keep the destination folder as it is and then click on next again and it will start installing now this is a big file so it will definitely take up a lot of time now when the installation finishes just click on run CLion and click on finish so now it should open up your CLion IDE and this is the first time that your CLion IDE is getting opened up So yeah, this window will open up where you can fill in your credentials in case you have an activated CLion license or you can use this evaluate for free option. So for this video, I will be uh, using this evaluate for free option only and then just click on evaluate and uh, yeah. Now again open CLion. You can click in the search box and type CLion for this. Now click on new project and then select the destination folder for your project. So what I'll do is I'll save it in desktop only. So I'll create a new folder here. And I'll name it CP with CLAN. Then I'll click on this same folder, CP with CLAN, so that my project gets created in this folder. And I'll also select the latest language. So for my case, it is C20. So if anybody in the future is watching it, then I guess uh, newer versions would have come. So you can select the latest version. So now my project is opening up. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, simply copy paste my template that I use for CP here and I'll show you how you can run your code and how you can create your input output and error files. So yeah, I'll just copy my whole template and I'll paste it here in CLAN. So yeah, you can click on this uh, green play button at the top right 
and this will run your program so now my code is running or I should say it is getting compiled okay so it shows process finished with exit code 0 that means it has compiled and run successfully now I'll try to you know uh, make those input output and error files so that we can have them at the side and you know uh, we can provide an input and get the output along with it so I'll try to output one into my output file for now so that I know the exact location of the uh, file that gets created when I do this and it is showing me an error here so I'll remove it and yeah, there should be a semicolon. So I've inserted that and now it should compile successfully. So now at this point, I'll quickly check the location of the output and error.txt files that got created. And uh, yeah, they are inside this cmake debug folder. So what I'll do is I'll uh, create an input.txt file and I'll put it inside that same folder. Just open these input.txt, output.txt and error.txt and position them at any place that you like to see them. So for me, I like to see them on the right side with the input.txt file on the top and the output.txt and error.txt files at the bottom. So yeah, I'll place them like that. You can simply drag them and they will get placed at those positions. So yeah, now at this point we have our input.txt, output.txt and error.txt created. So now we can provide the input in the input.txt file and we can expect the output in the output.txt file, right? So what I'll do is, I'll take an input from the input.txt and I'll try to print something in the output.txt file. So I'll take an integer n as the input and I'll try to print n plus 10 in the output.txt. Now you can see that we are getting the right output. We took 10 from the input.txt and we have 20 inside the output.txt. Now for those of you who are wondering as to how did we do this that we took input from input.txt and got our output in output.txt. So you don't need to do anything for this. Just go inside your main function in C++ code and just write out these following lines of code and you will be good to go. So yeah, that was it for this video. Now I hope all of you who have followed this video from the very start till this point would now have a running C Lion IDE in your system. And yeah, you will be able to easily code in C++ on it. So yeah, in case you like this video, then do consider liking the video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any future updates.